bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claude and today I would like to do a reflection reading for the sign of Aquarius. This is a reading that um, I do for myself um, every year around the solstice time, you know, mid to end of December because I believe it's important to reflect on what the year has taught us so that we can be better prepared for the following one. So these are general readings, they will not resonate with everybody. Take what applies directly to your situation and just leave the rest behind. So what do we have for my Aquarius viewers? What do we need to reflect on? So in the first position, which is what has this year tried to show you, you have Epiphany. I'm going to put right here. The second position is who or what has influenced your year, Ten of Ariel. The third one is the overall lesson, Ten of Gabriel. The fourth position is what could you have done differently? Queen of Gabriel and your final card is your next step for next year Seven of Gabriel hope you can see this okay so the first thing I noticed is you have a lot of orange color um, the um, this is a deck that um, has obviously a different name, but the um, the Gabriel, the orange color, is to do with the wands in the um, standard tarot. So you have a lot of wand energy, um, and this the um, pink one, which is the aerial one, is to do with the pentacles or coins, and the purples are major arcana. And the major arcana um, are more permanent energies. They are very important on your life journey, your life path because they make you develop and grow mentally, spiritually and emotionally. Whereas anything to do with minor arcana is to do with your day-to-day, -day, so it's more of a temporary energy. So what I read already is because you've got a major arcana in the position of what was emphasized for you, it means it was something important for you to grow. And this is number nine, which is the Hermit card. So it's represented in this deck by Archangel Raz Raziel, and it says, joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others, and answers that come through meditation. So this card talks about doing a lot of um, shadow work, you know, isolating yourself, retreating, going within, so you can understand the darker um, aspects of your own personality, so you can grow. There is, you know, no light without darkness, and we all have um, some darkness in us. Um, but we grow emotionally and spiritually, and also mentally, when we acknowledge and work on our darker side. And that's what the Hermit does, it encourages you to look within and, and work on those things. You know, it could be um, the energy of trauma, something that traumatized you, that you've bottled up. Um, that's just an example. Um, you know, repressed feelings, um, you know, doubts in your beliefs, all of that. It's asking you to really face all of those things and find out who you really are, find your own light, um, so you, you can move forward and you know what you want for your life and you will be on the right path. And so this card says that this was what was being shown to you this year. Um, showing you, you know, the uh, the benefits of working on yourself, on working on your spiritual growth, an emphasis on the spiritual rather than, than the material, um, and also leading others, you know, just through being who you are. I'm not talking about leading as in being a fiery um, character, I'm talking about um, 
getting people out of the darkness, you know. It could be just when you have a friend who's down, you know, you were there to, to support them, to um, move them forward, that kind of energy. And get gain pleasure out of this, you know. The second position is who or what has influenced your year, and you get the Ten of Aria, which is the Pentacles. Now, Ten is a number of um, completion, the end of a cycle, and it's a very, very positive card because the coins and pentacles are to do with your physical world, so work life, so it could be job, careers, financial um, securities, uh, assets, but also home life, you know, a very stable house or you could live in an apartment but you, you understand what I mean where you have harmonious relationships um, it feels like a home not just a building this card reads there is so very much to be grateful for financial success and the promise of retirement a rich and rewarding family life so this has been your focus trying to get um, a rich um, harmonious relationships probably at home that's the message I'm getting you know, because it was to do with, you know, doing the shadow work, you know, looking at things and quieting yourself and finding out maybe how to handle complex relationships within your home. Um, I'm not getting the um, message that this had to do really with a lot of financial gain. I really think that this was to do with relationships and spiritual development um, mending even some relationships probably um, and that has been a big focus of your year in the third position you have the overall lesson which is the 10 of Gabriel now this is again a 10 so it's um, completion the second um, card for this you know the end of a cycle but this time it's to do with the want suit, and the want suit has to do with your desires, your urges, your passions, you know, your spirit, what really drives you. And the card reads, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. And so maybe, you see this talks about excess a little bit, like being burdened, because when we do something with our heart and soul put into it, you know, we can burn out very quickly because it's exhausting to put so much of yourself into what you do. And so if you have been, you know, working on bringing peace at home, um, and it could be you also working hard in order to provide that security um, in the home, and therefore, you know, getting harmonious relationships, because obviously when they, there's worries when it comes to money and paying the bills well it puts pressure on relationships does it not so you may have been working also really hard on trying to provide financial stability for um, your home and the people who live in it but obviously you know when you do it with so much passion um, it becomes a burden because you feel like you're on your own you see that the hermit is the card of isolation as i said and retreat you're on your own working you know working on you know, being the light to others, on supporting others, and maybe, you know, you kind of lost yourself in that, is, is what I'm being told. It's just, you know, it's a very admirable thing to do, um, to want to um, support others and be there for them all the time in order to provide this. I mean, you know, the Ten of Pentacles is the legacy card. It's a beautiful card, but it comes with the burden as well. And it can exhaust you. And it's okay to ask others and not to try so hard to just please them because, you know, everything is energy. So love is an energy. You know, you give and you receive. Money is energy. Everything is energy in our world. And so if you're just giving but you're not receiving or not allowing others to give you something so you can receive, then you're going to burn out, which is the, the message I'm getting here for the overall lesson. So, you know, being more aware of um, the balance of giving and receiving and um, also asking for help. You know, you're not on your own. You're not the only person who has to do all of this. In the fourth position which is, what could you have done differently? You have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Gabriel. 
Now, the characteristic of this queen, male or female, its general reading are passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now, go after what you want, and the ability to attract helpful people. So again, we're back to attracting people. Now, the Queen of Wands is incredibly charismatic and she is very self-confident. And I believe this is you. And what you could have done differently is use that charisma, that confidence that you have, the fire within you, to attract people who are going to help you. You know, not necessarily people who are going to drain you or want something from you, but people who, you know, will want to help you because they see you for who you really are. Um, and so for next year, when you think about it, think about how you can attract the right kind of people um, who will support you because they really see your charisma and how brilliant you are, just generally speaking. And hardworking, might I add, because it's the one suit. And the final position is your next steps and you get the seven of Gabriel, so the seven of wands. Now the seven is the card of experience, evaluation and assessment. Um, so seven of wands generally speaking tends to mean that you need to stand for what you stand up for what you believe in. The card says, stand up for what... Oh, <laughs> that's what the card says. Sorry, I was not reading the card. I was just looking at the picture. Stand up for what you believe in. Word for word what I just said. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. It is the, um, the card of, you know, people may not agree with the directions you're going in, with the decisions you're making, but if you know deep down that this is the right thing to do or the right way to go, Remember, what you could have done differently this year was to be the Queen of Wands, you know, to have that independence, that confidence, that charisma, um, to know that, you know, you are that person and to go for it. And so these go really nicely together. Just stand up for the decision you made, the path you've chosen, if you know that this is the right thing for you or even for the, the family, just go for it. Do not let people get in your head and make you doubt, is what I'm trying to say. Um, you will know in your hearts of hearts what's worth fighting for and what's not. Um, because I'm not telling you to, um, to you know, try and fight everything. I'm just saying, you'll know next year when a situation arises, if it's worth fighting for or not. And if it is, okay, do not go back to the um, Ten of Wands, which was in your overall lesson, trying too hard to please others. Do not do that. Um, stand your ground as the confident, charismatic Queen of Wands would. I mean, obviously you have uh, free will. I'm just telling you what the cards are advising you so that you get a more empowered um, 2022, basically. It is about claiming your personal power. Now I'm going to give you an extra message, final message, just at the bottom of the deck. And you get more one's energy, <laughs> the nine of Gabriel. Now the nine is the number of achievements, so you're one one the way of the end. And the card reads, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility, environmental activism. So you see, it talks again about stay determined, move forward. Um, the cards are screaming, you know, go for what you believe is the right path or the right decision. Um, this could be for anything, as I said, it can be home life, it can be work, work life, it could be about changing jobs, it could be about taking a promotion, it could be about starting a new business, um, it really could be about anything because one is to do with your passions and whatever it is you feel passionate about is what this is referring to. And so, you know, trying too hard to please others may also limit your possibilities because you're going to close your heart and your eyes to opportunities around you because you don't want to displease people. But the cards are clearly saying that, you know, you need to claim your personal power, you know, that inner confidence you have and, you know, show your passionate side and, um, and just persevere, do not give up, is the overall message. So I believe that next year is going to be... Um, very empowering for you, Aquarius. Sorry, you can't see that. Let me put it here. Very, um, yes, 
powerful on a personal level for you. Um, because all of this work that you've done um, with the Hermit at the beginning of the year will have shed some light on, um, you know, what you want now for yourself. And I hope you will go for it very confidently. Um, as I said, the universe is saying that this is going to be the right year to do this. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey through the cards with me. Um, if you did, or if it resonated or helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. I've uploaded the 2022 tarot reading and also um, the mid-months for December. So I'm going to give you a card left and right here if you would like to check them out. Thank you so much for choosing to stop by my channel. I really appreciate it. and I hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.